time for the Premier League table. So we're going to go through every team in the Premier League in every position and we're going to rank where we think they're going to finish. Obviously some are easier than others. Just our opinion, let us know what you think in the comments. But without further ado, we'll start and we'll go with 20th. Who have you got at 20th? Norwich. Yeah, I've, I've got them there as well. I don't think they can survive. They, just, they don't look strong enough this season. No, definitely not. I haven't got yeah. enough points. I haven't got a lot of quality on the pitch, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I think they'll finish bottom. And in 19th, I've got Bournemouth. Who have you got there? I've got Watford in 19th. Um, I think they've had a bit of a resurgence under Nigel Pearson. But I still don't think they've got enough quality to um, get their way out of it. And I think there's better teams that will stay up above them. Yeah. And now, as you said, Watford. I've got them in 18th, which is where we are now. Who have you got in 18th? Uh, Aston Villa. Um, yeah. Once again, I think they rely heavily on um, Grealish, especially. Um, don't think they're that great going forward. Um, shaky at the back. Can see too many goals. Um, Even with Tyrone Mings, they're still not. Yeah. So I've got Watford, Bournemouth and Norwich facing the drop, and you've got who? Norwich, Watford and Aston Villa. So we agree on Norwich and Watford yeah. facing the drop. Even though Watford did beat Liverpool, we don't think they can survive. No. And now we go for the teams that are just going to slightly kind of avoid relegation. Mm. In 17th, I've got Villa. Well, who, have you, who have you put there? I've got Brighton, just to stay up. I know this might sound silly to a lot of people because they've got a very hard run in. I think they've still got to play Man City, Man United, Arsenal and another top team. That's eluded me at the moment, but yeah, but I still think they'll uh, sneak up. Yeah. Stay up, sorry. Well, I, I think I, I think Aston Villa there just because I think they're, they're not brilliant, but in my opinion, they have just enough to stay up with Tara Mings, Jack Grealish. And obviously, if John McGinn does come back from that injury, he had, I reckon, they've just... Maybe by a point or so they'll be, they'll be able to stay up. Yeah. Especially as they have got that game in hand at the minute as well. Okay. Which if they win, they will be 17th. Now we move on to 16th. And who have you got there? Bournemouth. Yeah. Well, I've got the other South Coast team and I've got Brighton. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think Bournemouth will stay up just for the fact I think they've got good enough players, decent manager. And I think they'll turn it around even though they have had a fairly poor season so far. Yeah. I just think Brighton will survive. Not because they're of their talent so much, but because I think they've got the the heart to kind of good step, especially good. with their two central defenders. Good team spirit as well. Yeah. I think. Lewis Duncan. Um, I can't remember the other one. Oh, what's his name? Anyway, their two the central def defending partnership, even with Adam Webster there now as well. I think their defence is a very strong unit. Yeah. Um, but moving on to sixteenth, who have you got there? Fifteenth. Fifteenth. Uh, West Ham. And uh, I'm going to shake your hand for only the second time in this video. I've got West Ham in 15th as well. But I reckon they've got enough. They've got the calibre of player to, to survive. Once again, they've had a, a poor season, especially yeah, by their standards. Especially about the, the amount of money they spent as well. And that, yeah. The last, season they, they, last season they did the same. This season they've come back, they've spent even more. And the same thing's happened. But 15th. And in 14th, who have you got? Uh, Newcastle United. Um, I think they're good enough to stay up um, I don't know if the tra all this takeover talk is going to affect them when they come back but I certainly think they've got enough um, decent players over the, and I think Steve Bruce is a decent manager as well um, unfortunately whether he'll be there next year or not is a different matter but um, <coughs> I think Newcastle are good enough to stay up quite comfortably yeah well I've got the uh, team that we don't normally name I've got Southampton uh, at 14th just simply because they should be staying up I don't reckon it's because of their quality in their, in their players, but I think James Ward-Prowse and um, uh, uh, James Ward-Prowse and a few of their other players will just kind of all together as a unit probably keep them up, especially if um, what's his name keeps scoring up front. I think they've got enough. Danny Ings, if Danny yeah. Ings keeps scoring up front, I reckon they'll they'll, they'll stay up. And I think they've got enough points on the board already. Yeah, there's seven there's seven points clear of the team below them at the minute. Yeah, so I can't see that being caught. Yeah, no, neither And in thirteenth, who've you got? I've got Southampton in 13th. Well, I've got Newcastle. So, so once again, we've just got, got both staying up clearly. Both good players. I reckon even if Newcastle were to just stay up this season, I reckon they could do a much better next season if they can get Joel Linton firing, Almiron scoring even more goals, getting assists. I reckon they could probably do mm. even better next season, but 13th. 
And in 12th, um, I've got a team that's uh, known for their Brexit football, so to speak, with Burnley. Who have you got? I've got Burnley as well. Yeah, as well. made up a team of home nation players. Irish, English. There's only Stephen DeFore, I think, was the only one that was from yeah, Europe. Decent manager. He's, yeah, he's, he's de- definitely efficient at what he does. He gets he gets the job done. He got him into Europe a couple of seasons ago. Yeah. Got knocked out by Aberdeen, but I think they're they're a strong unit. They'll stay up about mm. by quite a while. And without further ado, who do you, who have you got in eleventh place? Crystal Palace. And uh, shaking your hand again, mm. I've got Palace in eleventh. If they can keep uh, keep Zaha, I reckon they can do even better next season. With the likes of uh, Zaha, Van Aanholt, people like that, will definitely fire them to a mid-table finish. Yeah. Now we have tenth place, which I think is where we start getting a bit. Uh, we get we start arguing. But tenth place, who've you got there? I've got Everton to finish in tenth. Oh well, uh, I'm going to shake your hand even again. I thought we'd be arguing from this point, mm. but I've got Everton as well. I think Ancelotti, great manager. Players like Ricarlison, we're just going to fire them up, I reckon. Even with uh, Calvert Lewin up front as well, you got players of that calibre. They should be yeah. sta- they should be staying up and should be getting mid table. Definitely. Now we have ninth place. Who, who have you got there? Right, well, this is a bit of a, might be a bit of a shock considering where they are in the league at the moment, but I, I can't see them sustaining that. Um, even though they've had a great season, I think Sheffield United will slip and finish oh. in ninth. Um, I do think they've had a good season, but I can't see them staying fifth. Not with all the other teams around them, who I think have got better players, bigger budgets. Not that they can buy anybody, but I just I can't see Sheffield United staying in fifth, so I'm dropping them all the way down to ninth. Well, um, I, mine's probably more of a surprise. Bearing in mind they were in the Champions League final last season, yeah. I've got Tottenham Hotspur okay. in ninth place. Mm. I think, even though they have been playing some good football, I don't reckon with obviously I, I don't know if Kane's back fit yet or not. But without Kane and with a bit of time yeah, off... They've, they've lost a lot of confidence as well. They've lost their confidence, they've had time off. Mourinho's only just come in and as soon as he came in, they had to stop again. Mm. He's trying to keep them going through the break. I reckon they're going to come back and they're going to be a bit weak. I don't know whether they'll be this week, but in my opinion, they'll, they'll only finish ninth. Okay. Now we have eighth place, where I've put the other side of North London. The team from four miles down the road, I've put Arsenal. Because from what I saw when they played us, I didn't see quality, so to speak. I saw a team with definitely potential in players like Martinelli and Saka, but I didn't see a team that I thought could push for Europe yet. So that's why that's why I've put Arsenal in eighth position. Okay. Who have you got in eighth? Uh, Wolves. Oh, you you care to explain? Right. I mean, obviously we don't know what's going on with Europe. There's, you know, Wolves are still in Europe um, in the Europa League. Could that, possibly win it as well. Yeah, they're very good chance if if that continues and that, that will affect their league form. But I think they'll slip um, down to eighth, um, which is still a decent se- uh, season for them. But I can't see them finish higher than that, even though I do think they've got a lot of good players and um, got a great manager. Yeah. Well, uh, that will move. Right. If you're wondering why we're back again, uh, the camera stopped recording for some reason. Apparently, the storage when it was full. We have now looked at that. I've edited the first part of footage, but we're going to go back and talk from seventh to first, as that bit of the video is the bit that was cut off. We'd, we'd already recorded it, looked back at it, and it wasn't there. So we're just going to record quickly again. Who have you got in seventh? Arsenal. I've got Manchester United. Both good sides, but not good enough to get Europe, in my opinions. Agreed. In sixth no, place. Not agreed. <laughs> in sixth place, who have you got? Uh, Spurs. Yeah. Obviously, without Harry Kane, not that strong. I think that's is that where you're coming from. Yeah, much weaker than last year. Confidence is sapped, so I've had, yeah. So I think this will be a much worse season for them than last year, obviously. Yep. Well, I've got Wolves in sixth place. I think with Jimenez, with Tinio, Patricio, Cody, players that they've got all over the pitch, I reckon as a unit they're strong. So I'd just see. Yep, they'll be able to get the European place if City's ban does go on, and this is how it works. That could be a Europa League spot. Okay. And in fifth place, who have you got? Chelsea. I've got Sheffield United. I think if they win the game in hand, they're fifth, and I reckon they can hold on to that. They're they're a very strong unit, and I reckon that that team spirit will keep them keep them fifth. What's your reasoning behind Chelsea being fifth? I just think they've, they've got wherever you get. I, know, I just think they that's they're all thereabouts for them. Um, I, don't, I can't see them finish higher, and I can't see them finishing lower. I don't think that'd be a bad season for them. 
even though they have because they haven't been able to buy any players apart from Pulisic who's already agreed before their transfer embargo so I think fifth is just there or thereabouts I think that's good. yeah and in fourth who have you got there Leicester City yeah I've got Chelsea once again Chelsea Tomori Mount uh, uh, what's his name up front Abraham the young players they've got coming through especially with their likes of them I reckon fourth place Champions League football easy Leicester to drop to fourth though is that what you think then yeah I just think there's other teams that could go on a run and um, finish above them um, certainly the two two of them you probably everyone knows who they're going to be but the third one might surprise a few people and in third place who have you got surprisingly as we were just saying uh, Manchester United to finish in third I think they're going to have a run towards the end of the season okay. and I think they're going to climb the table and I think third is achievable for them yeah well I've got Leicester I've got to stay in the same position. I reckon they can hold it down. Champions League football again for them. Simple. Sonko at the back and Vardy up front. Even with players like Madison in the midfield yep. controlling things. And in second place, who have you got? Manchester City. Yep. I reckon they're not good enough to catch up the first place in the league, which is obvious. Obvious. <laughs> they're good all around the pitch. Definitely a second place in the league, minimum for them. Yeah. But they've had a bit of a worse season this season. Liverpool, obviously the first place. Oh, done brilliantly. Yeah. So without further ado, who's in first? The Scousers, Liverpool. Yeah, of course. Um, players around the pitch, Mane, yeah. Firmino, Salah up front. Then you look at the back, goalie, class, Allison, right back, best in the country, Trent Alexander. Left Arnold. back, best in the country. Left back, Robertson, centres. Centre backs. <laughs> Van Dijk. <laughs> Matip. Matip. It is, it Gomez. Is class. Wine um, Alden, Fabinho. Yeah, they just... They've, they've had, had a very, very good yeah, they've season. They've added to their team. Obviously this was their priority at the start of the season, not the Champions League for them. Um, they haven't won the league for 30 years and they've just romped it and they're going to carry on and they're going to win yeah. it by an absolute mile. So we'll just overlap. Who have you got to get face relegation to the Championship? Uh, I've got Norwich, Watford and Villa to go down for me. And I've got Norwich, as, as you have. I've got Bournemouth and I've got Watford, as same as you have. Who have you got to get Europa League? If what we think is going to happen with the City band, who have you got to get Europa League? Spurs. Yeah, I've got Wolves. Two very good sides. Wolves could even be in the Champions League next season. Yeah. Who have you got in uh, the champ- Champions League spots then? Obviously, excluding Obviously, City. Obviously, Man City if it stays the same. Uh, Liverpool, United, Leicester and Chelsea I've got to finish in the Champions League. Yep, Places. I've got Liverpool, Leicester, Chelsea, same as you. But then I've got Sheffield United because I think definitely strong enough. And, and anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. How many likes can we get on this one? I have 25. 25 likes. Don't forget to like. Please subscribe, we're still 18 away from the target for the month, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.